MPX performance. In this video, I will demonstrate how the message broker and the cache agent reduces the load to the Star Team server, as illustrated by the Star Team client. Star Team users can connect to MPX technology via the Star Team MPX tab within Personal Options. So here they can enable the Star Team MPX, which is the message broker, and they can also enable the cache agent. They can do this by selecting the IP address and the port, and selecting automatically locate the closest cache agent. Once configured, the Star Team user will see a lightning bolt in the CPC status bar. If it is yellow, it will be connected, and if grey, disconnected. The first time you log into a project, the client will always go to the Star Team server initially, and you can see these calls illustrated in the diagram below. And at the bottom of the diagram, you can see all the server commands being issued at this time. Project command refresh items fetches the properties of files and does this in chunks of 500 items. So if you have 10,000 files all descending from the root, you would have around 20 refresh item commands issued. Without MPX enabled, the client user would need to do a manual refresh to keep the file tab current, which would mean 20 extra commands to the Star Team server. Within the Star Team user's personal options workspace tab, they also have the option to set the automatic refresh, and this takes advantage of the MPX events. With the MPX enabled and auto refresh checked, the client will not issue any refresh items commands to the server, unless there are changes to that particular configuration. So, for example, if a Star Team user adds, deletes, or updates a file or its properties, MPX events will be sent from the server to all the clients subscribing. Based on the event, the client will decide on what action to take, if it needs to go to the server to fetch the latest version, if it needs to add the new file or make it delete, it is fetched from the server, while the property updates are fetched from the MPX events. If you look back at the Star Team client log file, and now do a full refresh of the item window, this is now handled by the MPX as illustrated on the image below. So here we can see highlighted its statistics for the operation. What this illustrates is that the message broker and the transmitters, which is public subscribe messaging, is now being used to update events to the clients which are subscribed to it. So this saves the clients going to the server to issue new commands. So to illustrate just how many automatic calls your CBC makes to the server, turn on automatic refresh on the workspace and leave the client idle for 10 minutes. Now when you consult the Star Team client log file, you will see that a view for around 20,000 files for example, without MPX you will see 40 refresh command calls every minute. Each of these operations will be responsible for approximately 500 items. With MPX you will only see about 40 commands and this is the first time when you open the CPC. With the 13 old CPC now available, we have went even further to reduce the traffic going to the Star Team server as we have bulkified the refresh calls. So now using the 13.0 CPC, we only see 4 refresh command calls per minute without the MPX, but 4 in total with the MPX as the broker stores the rest of the updates via the event transmitters. From 12 OSDK onwards, now only a total maximum of 4 server calls are required, no matter the number of items it needs to be refreshed from the Star Team server. The brand new range of Borland and Microfocus products rely heavily on MPX technology. Without a message broker employed by the server, you cannot connect to Star Team Web Server and our new tool, Star Team Agile. Thank you for watching this video.